Hi everyone, this is Elizabeth at CraftsByHappyStamper.com. Thanks for stopping by today. Uh, today I'm showing you how to make this wall-mounted bottle opener. I stained the wood and I wood burned in the cold beer there that you could see and attached the bottle opener and a bottle catch catcher. This is my project that's part of the one stamp at a time blog hop that's going on today. And I also have a second video showing the manly card that I made for this hop. So you can just click on the link in the description in order to follow along on the hop as well as to get a detailed list of all the supplies that I used. So let's get started. First I started with this basil wood here. It's actually about a half an inch thick and it's got this beautiful sides with the natural wood finish that you could see. So I wanted it to be a little darker to look a little more manly I think. So I just took some white vinegar and I added my uh, used my reinkers to add ink. So I wanted it to be a little bit red so I used some cherry cobbler ink and soft suede is what I started with. So you can see I really sped this up but I'm just showing you that I'm covering the entire um, basil wood with with um, the vinegar mixture. I'm just using a regular paintbrush that I would use with any sort of acrylic paints and I also wanted to make sure that the top and the bottom which may or may not be visible depending on where my brother decides to put it um, also look similar. So first I stained it with that and then I let it dry because you know you can, you can only get this so wet with vinegar and I decided that it was still too light but you could see it gets darker as it dries. So I added some more, um, I added early espresso and I added one drop of the basic black reinker to give it more a darker finish. I wanted it to look more antique vintage than brand new. So you could see that it's actually much darker on the sides than it was before. And so I'm just covering up the sides and then I actually let it dry overnight so that it was completely dry before I started doing anything else. So just in a second you'll see me pop back and this is so you can see how dark it became. Now I'm adding the beer opener. This beer opener actually says beer me at the top which I thought was cute and what I did was I just placed it at the top where I thought I wanted it and I used pencil to draw on where the screws would go so that I would have an idea before I place my letters. These letters come from the larger than life alphabet step stamp set from Stampin' Up and I'm using stays on ink even though it's not ideal for photopolymer stamps. So I should have been warned when I try to get them all to stick to the block at the same time that they weren't going to stamp properly um, all together mainly because this is actually a piece of wood and it's not completely flat so I ended up doing each letter separately but I did get a nice outline that I was able to line up the individual letters with before I um, you know did it and I used my ruler T ruler to line up the next one with the and draw a straight line to line up all the letters I just used the O in the B for the beer for placement of the E and now I'm stamping beer I did the B and the R first the last two letters before I filled in the the two E's in the center and it's important that you clean off that stays on quickly and do not use stays on cleaner because that's not good for your photopolymer stamps and now I'm just erasing the lines that I had on there to get my beer straight now you could see in the lower left hand corner that I have a kit. It's a wood burning kit. You can get this at any Lowe's or on Amazon. It's this set cost I think it was like $19. It was definitely under 20 and it comes with lots of different tips and you can see that I'm using it now. You can also see that there's uh, a wrench in the upper right hand corner. You're supposed to not ever touch these tips. They get extremely hot so be very careful but I did decide it was easier to do the wood burning and trace the outline of the letters by turning the wood rather than turning the wood burning tool. So now I'm just lining up the bottle opener with the, the marks that I had made before. I did the top one first so that then I could wait and make sure that it's extremely straight before I did the bottom one. And you can see that. It's basically almost done. I just had it draw in two more screws for the basket that's going to hang off the bottom and this basket is actually bigger than I intended but I bought it online so I didn't realize how big it was I wanted a little one that would like not hang off the bottom but since this is supposed to be wall mounted anyways it doesn't matter and I'm just showing you how the top says beer me I really like it I think it looks really nice the wood burning looks really nice I was able to trace the outline of the beer and if you touch it it's raised the center is raised but just the outline of the letter is 
burned deep into the wood and I'm pretty happy with it and I think my brother's going to really love it. So thank you for joining me today. Please check out my other YouTube video on the manly card that I made for this blog hop and click on the link below to get the supply list and to continue on with the hop. Thanks.